Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Fear the Awakening, and oh my god, death outside of Dapper Dell. Look at Dapper Dell, it looks so lovely. Little, little pups of smoke going up the chimney. Uh, that was a rather dangerous little uh, central fire there amongst a forest, but I'm sure they have it under control. I am certain that they have trained many fire keepers, and they are keeping the fire, both lit and also not spreading. But... Death. It is the middle of night, which means that enemies are very, very aggressive right now. That's not good for us. We need to be back there right now. You come across Ow, a hidden no. stash, and it looks like whatever is inside may still be intact. Uh, okay, take the stuff. You have your loot safe in hand, but you can hear something approaching fast. Perhaps mm. a guardian of the stash. You have time to run, but maybe the creature hides more goodies. Stay and fight. You stand your ground and face the approaching enemy. The air seems to get thicker, the ground feels shaky, and a sudden raising of the fog makes it hard to see who your assailant is. You feel a hint of dread in your heart. Face the dread! Four wild boars! Ha! Nothing shall stop us here. We are going to raffle stomp the wild boars. Isham, you're up first. Because you've got a ridiculous shield, and you eat things. Uh, they're already dead. Uh, next up, Obsidian Mist. Our crafter, by the way. A really, really, really aggressive crafter. She... Obsidian Mist is... The sort of crafter you want for particularly aggressive woodworking. Particularly aggressive ones. Uh, Rifsung, you're up next. Thank you. And we will follow up with Kichikun. There we go. Loving the amount of shielding we've got, guys. Very much loving it. Uh... Bubbles, let's get you in there. Then, Sean, we've got this. We're not even going to have to play anyone on our tactics deck, but we will just for the sake of posterity. We'll confuse you. Um, I guess, Sean, you can have a stupidly good uh, shield there. And. Sure. Kijikun, you're going to the front. Uh, you're not actually going to take them out. That was, that was a bad move on my part, really. Uh, but it's fine. It is fine. Let's get everyone set up. Um, in fact, let's get Sean right to the front. Womp. There we go. You'll take them out. There we are. We've, we've got it. I mean, obviously we had this. There was nothing that could possibly stand in our way. It turns Still, out these were simply ooh. some boars defending their Enchanted turf. Enchanted boars? Searching for prey. Still, you search their remains, hoping to gather some extra resources. And gather them, we do. Particularly nice to get some wicker. Okay, with that, I best check, make sure... I received a lot of comments, but the way that I needed to make sure... that ah, there we are, we're fine. Uh, that I wasn't burning my ancient wood. No, no, no. It's good, it's good, it's good. Uh, right, now... Does anyone want that equipment? Got some decent stuff. Um, it's not bad armor, really. What about Sean? It's better armor, and it's... Actually lighter, so sure. Yeah, that's that was a good little upgrade there. Uh, no, that's way too good. As is that. This one, well, it's still better, actually. A lot better. Um, that one's probably going to be better, yeah, because there's the same stuff that we just handed over. Uh, that is poorer in pretty much every way. Now about yours? Equal. Um, you're fine. You can't wear it anyway. And we seem to be all right. Okay, well, moving on then. Let's continue on our way. Now, again, we want to get to a point where we can still camp. Just weave our way through and camp for the night. It is so much better. Even if we can't gather anything, it is better to be in a camp. I don't want to hit, hit and turn, but I must. Oh, thank, thank goodness. The night is quiet thank and calm, But suddenly, the ground shakes beneath your feet without any warning. Okay. You feel the grumbling of the earth, and you fear Mokosh's wrath is upon you. The name of Mokosh feels somehow different. What is this? Yes, natural. You know earthquakes to be the wrath of your earth mother, Mokosh, but this one you feel is not her work. You know instinctively that they are not caused by the earth's anger, but rather by creatures shaking the ground. Try to find cover. I the fact that that enemy stack moved away. Oh my lord. So Relieved. Ye gads, am I so relieved. Now, you're going to do... 
you're going to do 13 points of damage, and you will heal by two when you do that. So, we want someone who can weather that storm. I'm going to place... Actually, before we do, we've got a level seven counter-offense, counter-attack. We've got a counter-offense that could take that out. We're going to take out any other cards there. There we go. And likewise, counter tactic card. Take you out. Now we've reduced the enemy to just two cards. Now they're both in the front, but one of them is going to be um, stunned first. That's fine. What I would like here then, Jason, let's get you down. Now you're going to take some damage, but you'll heal a little bit after that. And what I would like for you is add a little bit more of a shield. So now you're only going to take three points of damage. I could take that down to one point of damage, which you'll heal through. Or I can give you an extra three points of damage that you can inflict. Um, I'm going to go for the shield, actually. There we are. So you're going to take... Uh, sorry, you're going to take two points of damage. But you'll heal one of them back. And then we'll just wail in. So between the two of you, that one's down. We've got... Uh, 20 points to do. No, we're not going to be able to do that. But you'll be able to tank the, ink, the second hit of damage. It's not going to be a big issue for you. There we are. One down. And there we go. Now, this is going to hurt a bit. But it's fine. Oh, you didn't actually. Oh, of course. It's additional damage. That, that's right. That's right. It's been a few days since I've played. Shush. Uh, right, Sarah, you're down first because you do an awful lot of damage and you can easily tank, uh, I guess. All right, then. Um, counter offense of nine. We'll take that card away. We're good. We have won. I mean, we were ultimately going to win no matter what happened there. Uh, we may as well get everyone closer since there's nothing else that we can do here. And at least you'll get one round of, of attacking. There we go. And we are done here. There is a series of Ooh, nice. distant thuds and groans, well done, Travis. and several short yet violent rhythmic shakes. Then, slowly, the sounds and the tremors move away. Away! Damn it, sounds like some sort of creature. It is some sort of creature. A creature that we understand to some degree. Now, that enemy stack is still there. We're not going to wait for that to turn around and attack us. That is not going to be something we do. Uh, however, we could hit the cosmic tree on the way back. It would take us in the right direction. I would have liked to have gathered more things, but let's have a look. We can gather some meat there, or if I stopped off there, meat and wood. And we do kind of need wood right now. Uh, like, uh, we could stop there instead. We could still hit the tree. We'd have a decent bit of gathering potential there, actually. Let's get down there then. Oh no, I, I made a complete derp. I, I should have uh, gone from here instead. By going over to the, the river in the bathroom. Wow. Rusty is not even the word right now. I do apologize. Making some very silly tactical misjudgments. Um, but it's better to, to waste those, uh, or rather Acts get those the out of the way wind early on. The Vili have been spotted soaring the skies. This can mean only one thing. A hurricane is coming. The stars disappear as the skies darken. The dances of the demonesses grows frantic, and the wind whistles wherever you stand. Okay. And then, within mere seconds, the wind turns into a vicious predator, scouring the land for its unfortunate prey. Trees are torn out as if they were twigs. Houses fly off into the sky, and throughout all of it, there are still glimpses of the villi dancing in the darkened skies. Mm. If we had uh, the right group here, we could try something hex, but we don't. Find some safe and hide. You found some cover. But alas, the wind blows too strong. We I'm sure we'll be able on. to hold on. Depending on the group, we'll be able to hold on very well. Now, it's, it's exactly it's It's back in Dapital once again. Uh, okay. Uh, it's level 5 counter-offense there. We'll open with a level 7. There we go. And now counter-tactics. A level 7 counter... Well, no. We'll have a level, seven, uh, level 10 because... Hmm, uh, actually, shield... No, we'll keep you around. Because you may get you into the uh, fight there. Okay, we wouldn't have been able to get them out anyway, so that's fine. Uh, right then. Let's open. You're going to do uh, 11, 12, 13, plus an additional two if they're already wounded. Thankfully, you're going to be taking the move first. But still, 
a little bit worrisome. Uh, as a result, gonna have you getting close. And you're next. You'll be taking a turn on the next turn, so that's fine. It's a shame that we can't get to you first, but oh well. It should be fine. There we go. Svizzle was there literally as um, as someone to body block the damage. There we go. Thank you very night much. And yep. We actually won it in the first round. You were Very lucky nice. enough to find some good cover some and hold wounds. on to your lives, although some of you are injured from the flying debris. All of us. We're okay. Uh, that's fine, though. Oh, okay, great. Look around. You tend to your injuries and take stock of what's left around we you. got more injuries? Where once there were trees or greenery, now stands a path of desolate rubble. Your gods must have been watching over you, as the village still stands sturdy. Oh, well, that's not bad. But more injuries is not particularly good. Especially with a, a death stack nearby. Okay, what did we get from the well? Some straw. Uh, that's not terrible. Alright, okay. Cosmic tree. Here we stand. Let's have a chat, shall we? You finally find what must have been the grove from the map. Although there is little left but some stones and dirt here. And yet, among the rubble, stands a single tree. Still green and thriving despite it all. When you approach... The tree opens its eyes and stares at you. Right, we're back with the bodies, just as you've asked. The Lishi looks over the remains. He takes the shards and nods, but then examines the wood for a while. These are the remains of my brother, you say? Oh dear. They look, well, ordinary. Okay, of course they are. And I didn't carry all this wood here to argue over how special it is, you know. Just keep your end of the deal. That's a four skull. Social battle. Thankfully, the wolves mean nothing in this. The pinecoats may. But it's really only the Lishi that is a problem here. And even the Lishi, not much of a problem, actually. Wow, you do a lot of damage. My lord. We are very, very good at this. Oh my goodness. Uh, I like it. I like it. We're very, very convincing, folk. You'll do nine damage. It's not something that I particularly fear. Uh, but let's open up with bubbles. Bubbles, you get in there. And then Kijikun. Now, the main thing is we want to direct a decent amount of damage towards the Lishi. Uh, let's get everyone in. Oxid's actually uh, got, a, got a gift of the gab there. Well done. Oh, there is a wolf that can talk. Uh, it's not the strangest thing I've seen in there, so that's fine. There we are. Oh. Oh! That, that hurt, actually. That hurt quite a lot. Um, hmm. We're gonna need to shield you. Let's get a shield down now, then. There you go. And then I'm nobody can get in. Now that might hurt, depending on who gets played first. No, nope. we're okay, good. All right, now we need to start thinking uh, tactically. Now, I can support my allies, or I can get some of these people much closer. I can also get some people much further ahead. Uh, we've got three so Well, actually, no, we've got quite a few solid first actions here. Okay. Um, all right. Keep you going, you can go first. It's not going to help out in the first round, but in the second one, you're going to get a chance and your poison, hopefully, will have an effect. Let's get you... I'm not sure we'll get you involved. Hurts a bit. That's fine. Now, I could support... Well, no. You're, you're confused, which is a shame. Um, but once again, we could support you and then drive you forward. This way you'll get a turn. Now, it looks like none of them can be played at this point, which is very nice for us. Very, very nice, in fact. Now, I could really drive your damage up, or I could send two of my cards to the front. I think we'll do that. Two to the front is more important. There we are. Okay. Enjoy. Well done. Very nice. Almost took them out. Right, the Lishi is down. Pretty much one of the, the strongest opponents. Though, that being said, the Pinecoats aren't that much further behind. 
Okay, well, that was not exactly the best direction to have taken it in, but it's fine. Thankfully, most of them were on the tactics side, so they aren't going to get uh, much of a chance here since we're going to wipe out most of them before it comes to their turn again. There we are. In fact, all of them. Perfect. And we know that the ones that were in the tactics stack of the enemy can't take a turn here. So we're going to win this one just with the combat deck. There we are. Now, when it comes to the skulls, as I as I mentioned in the previous episode, if it is a, uh, a, a challenge against the concept of something, like the concept of sneaking, the concept of hexing, then the skulls will change the difficulty. But they cap out at five. They can never get worse than a five skull battle. It's just the way it is. If, however, the skulls are on a social... Uh, and it's more or less a static increase. You'll get a static amount of extra cards based on the skulls up to five, and then it's not going to get worse. There will be a little bit of variance in how good the, the cards are, but not much. However, if you go the opposite... Wait, with, with social or combat, so, then it yeah, does matter what the stack is. These don't feel special to you, but your brother is ashes, so our end of the bargain stands. Malishi listens to you and nods. Well, I suppose I haven't really killed Alishi before, and who knows how this darkness thing affects us. The tree shards are here, so it must be true. Here you go. Take the elf and leave me be, before I decide you're good for compost. Alishi turns away and turns into a tree again, with the wood and the shards taken into his roots. Take the elf and try to wake him up. But uh, just to finish what I was saying there, physical, uh, not physical, sorry, combat, fighting challenges and social challenges actually use the cards that are in the stack. So if the stack has 30 cards, there are going to be 30 cards available in the fight. So at least, depending on your difficulty settings, it might be, might be less. Um, but you are going to fight the cards that are there. So if it's a social challenge and most of the cards are animals, you're going to have a really easy time, even if, based on the skulls, it says you're going to have an awful time. It could be a five-skull orange challenge. If only one of them can talk, they're probably going to be very good at it, but there's still only going to be one out of those 30 cards that's going to be able to actually interact with you in the challenge, so you might well stand a chance of winning. So bear that in mind. Social and, and fight challenges, it matters what you're fighting. But outside of that, it only matters what the skull rating is. So take the elf and try to wake him up. The elf opens his eyes and speaks in but a whisper, yet his words are very clear. I am still weak and it will take much time for me to recover, but thanks to you, I shall. But that is of no importance. Let us leave this place and talk of the fate of Thea. Now, I heard your talk with the Lishi. I know you seek answers to my quest. I assume you have discovered my notes. For if you found my student, she would be here with you. It seems this quest claimed us both. Yes, I am afraid we found your notes on an elven body. The elf only nods. Such is fate. Perhaps it is punishment for our failure as guardians of the cosmic tree. I see the world is still corrupted, yet the sun has returned. This can mean only one thing. A seed of the tree yet lives. Hmm. I know of the cosmic tree, but not much. Right. How much do you know of what happened? Uh, Well, let's have the full story, shall we? I know nearly nothing. There was a tree, it burned, and so did Arthea. Please tell me the whole story. We do not have so much time that I may tell you all, but I shall try my best. The cosmic tree was one of seven pillars of the world. Others exist, or perhaps existed, in different distant parts of Thea, each with their own story. Our tree, however, is what concerns us. The cosmic tree held the balance of three spheres. What you call the divine, where your gods dwell, the earth, where mortals reign, and the underworlds, the domain of the dead. When the cosmic tree burned, so did the gates between our worlds. Gods fell from their thrones, losing power and influence. The dead spilled out amongst the living, unable to cross over and find peace. And Thea became a barren land, unsuited for mortal life. How did it happen? I know not the answer, but I will tell you what I think. There was a time we called the Age of Man, a time of great human queens and kings and victories over evil. We, the elves, 
decided to sail away to our own lands, far into the west, leaving only a few to safeguard the pillars of the world. But man grew greedy and jealous. In the Westerlands, non-humans were hunted and killed, and kings and queens we once called noble became obsessed with power. They looted dwarven strongholds, enslaved half-men for their labor, and slaughtered elfkin for our knowledge. I believe that in their greed, they came to seek out the seven pillars, and when they found no power to be had, they destroyed what they found. Well, I'm going to share our knowledge with him. I heard a different story. One where the humans burned the cosmic tree on purpose, rather than from spite. Interesting. And why on Thea would they do this? To rid the world of magic, thus bring about an age of reason and knowledge, where humans are no longer bound by superstition. The elf frowns. Rid Thea of magic? Preposterous! Do you realize how many lives will perish? Do you not have non-human friends? Do you not use magic? Have you never asked a friendly demon for aid? All of it, all will be gone. A memory, myth. Hmm. I mean, I know it means the end of your people, but didn't you say you wanted to give us freedom to leave, leave Thea in our charge? No, I, I agree with not killing them. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Of course I am. Well, at least I am correct at my estimations of the death and destruction that will come of this plan. Now, where were we? You were telling me about the racism and slavery. That does sound like humans, all right. <laughs> where are the gods? Where were the gods when all of this happened? Why wasn't the cosmic tree protected? Your gods, yes. They too were designated guardians, and it was their duty to protect the balance. So, I admit, I am amiss to what has happened. The laws by which we live prohibit the gods to act directly, so perhaps things transpired too quickly, and the Westerlanders do not worship your gods. Thus perhaps this lessened their power more? It is a question I cannot answer. What about the other pillars? Do we need to repair them all? An interesting question. For one, even I do not know where or what all of the pillars are. Each land has their own, you see. But the cosmic tree was the foundation of all. If it can be rebuilt, Thea will find a way to restore the rest. Of course, if you find yourselves able to discover other pillars or alternate routes to salvation, please do follow them. You keep saying those we call gods and so on. Why would you say that? Ah, perceptive of you. I do not wish to offend. You believe in a certain world order and you are correct in many ways. Long ago, men and women rose up and ascended to become something more, to become an idea, a hope for their kind. These brave souls gave up their own mortal coils to serve as your guardians, your protectors, and thus they became gods, not just mine, that's all. Okay, it makes sense, I suppose. Do you believe in elven gods? I am one of the chosen guardians of the sacred tree, the cosmic force that makes all life can claim my allegiance, but no deity as such. After all, it is us who are oft worshipped by our charges. But let us not dwell on this too long. I have little time. Do you wish to help me restore the order? Yes, I do. Whatever you may choose to do, I will tell you what needs doing, as I am too weak to do it myself. What you decide is up to you. The fact that magic still lingers and the sun has returned means a seed of the cosmic tree has survived the burning. Its fledgling power restored the light to us, but it is too weak to thrive on its own. We must find it, and plant it in a sacred grove, where in time it will grow to its full strength and restore Thea to its former glory. So where is this seed? I have a feeling it's not just lying around to be found, right? No, of course not. Else enemies of the light may find it and finish what they started. For you see, if this seed burns, their job will be complete. In many ways, Thea will be no more. Yes, but where do we find it? I do not know. I've been locked under a tree for a century, but I know how to find it. You must gather some cosmic tree shards, pieces of the tree that still linger in our world. Once you have those, bring them to me and I will tell you our next step. Are you coming with us? In time, perhaps, but I am still too weak and I fear waiting for my recovery may take too long. You have come this far. I trust that you will choose the right path I will find a place of power and meditate there until you come back. I have marked you so you will feel your way back to me. Now for the cosmic tree shards. 
I know of one place where some can be found. Go seek the place out. Fine, off we go to find the shards. And there we go, we've got a, a big chunk of the quest left. Uh, we, really, we have to go backwards again. Uh, two places, actually. Uh, Alright, but we really need to deal with this cave. Uh, but that is not going to be an easy task, no matter what we do. We're alright, we've come this far. Let us not despair. Uh, we've got two steps left. We're going to gather instead. Uh, and for this, we'll get there. I'll have... You only need a tiny bit of help with that one. So this will do. There we are. Uh, I would like some trees. And this as well. Let's get a good chunk of you over there to get me that last little bit. There we go. I'll get me one every turn. That's all we need to do for this turn. Uh, we still have this point, but uh, I'm still thinking that we probably want to save it. Now, uh, if we could get ancient wood, that would be amazing. If we could get scale leather, that would also be amazing. Moonstone is the one of the highest level materials to use. Often when you build something, the primary effect is scaled by the rarity of the material used in it. So by using, for example, dragon bone, nimble wood, moonstone, ancient wood. Ancient wood and dryad wood are the same scale, I believe. Um, this one, for example, because, because it's the same number of moves away from the center one, even though that costs more. This one is the highest scale. This one is the highest scale. That one is the highest scale. One, two, three, four, versus one, two, three. So on, so forth. These two, equally of the highest scale, I believe. Now, I'm not 100% on that one, so I uh, have to take that one with a pinch of salt, I'm afraid. Now, we could go for the totem, which would be useful. What does it require? A lot of wood. You've got a lot of opportunity to build it out of something very, very nice there. You can also use a lot of bone as well. Mm. That's actually quite nice. You can use... Enchanted bone there, maybe even ancient wood here. Ooh. Ooh, that would be very nice, actually. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Let's pass the turn, though. You see fresh wolf tracks. It looks like a large pack is somewhere ahead. Follow the tracks. You come across the pack, and you're able to ambush them. Attack the wolves! We need your leather. But this is a fight, so it is a dangerous one. Right, first and foremost, uh, who's got the best shield here? Oxford, you're up. And then Isham with your amazing shield, you're up next. Uh, Oxford is going to take out both of those walls. So, actually, Kenneth and then, I think, Isham. There we go. Next up, we will have Sai and Obsidia. Oh, that's quite a lot of damage that Alpha Wolf does there. Uh, finally, we're going to go with Sean, who has a be much better shield, and we're going to make it even stronger. And then Rivsung behind. There we go. And we're just going to tank Rivsung up a little bit. I mean, I could throw Rivsung to the front if I really wanted to. Um, sure, I guess. There's not particularly much reason to, I'm perfectly honest. Um, in fact, let's drive you forward as well. And then I can just dump all of the remaining shields on to Obsidian. We're going to win this without having to do this level of planning. But still, it's fun to do, in my opinion. There we go. And there we are. You defeat nice. the wolves. We'll get rid of that. We don't need it. Gather remains and leave. Okay. Righty-ho, then. Now, you've got a decent amount there. What did we get over here? Oh, no, wrong one. We got nuts this time. Okay. And the shield... Is great. Let's have a look at that beauty. Oh, my lord. Nothing like dragon scale to ward off unwanted attacks. Well, we might, well, need that in the very near future, which is scary. Uh, okay. Well, the giants, I don't know where they are exactly. So we're going to break camp and head back to Dapadel. Head through, but not all at once. Let's head up around here. Yeah, that'll do for now. 
On the next turn, we're going to do some trading with Dapper Dell and prepare our group. In fact, sure, we'll have the whole group join Dapper Dell. Now, with what we've got, we could go ahead and get the totem. Oh, the totem is really tempting. Totem is really, really tempting. There's also artifacts. There's various other things we could make better bows, for example. Hmm. Increases the magic skill. Children growing up can choose the witch class. Now, if we get this, then even when we don't leave a, a powerful group of mages in the town, everyone will have the magic skill there. So it will allow us to perform hex challenges in the town, more or less no matter what. So that's actually quite a potent ability. So yeah, we're going to go with that. Now, let's uh, go back into Dapadel, make sure that we're not burning anything truly precious. Good. And now, let's try and build the totem. Now, the totem... Ooh, we've got ancient wood if we really want to. Don't have quite enough to do the second, though. Uh, pop that down and see what we get. Magic bonus of five. Everyone here would have magic bonus of five. That is really quite a powerful one. Magic bonus of six there. If we wanted monster bone, we could go for it. We Magic bonus of four. Monster bone would be the better one, really. Enchanted bone, of course, would be very, very potent. Um, we'd need 50. Uh, just, just shy of the wicker requirement. Attract beast. Have we got enough Elvenwood? We don't. A shame. Triumph Goblin. If... Yeah, we just don't quite have enough. Such a shame, that one. We could go out and check for more Wicker. But... I don't believe that material has any particular benefit. We could ha just go with this. We can't use Steel, unfortunately. Moonstone would have... I believe... Would be a, a, a decent one, but... I can't remember if this does ha actually have an attraction. Obsidian, I think, would bring in more goblin. I'm, I can't remember, actually, on that one, whether it's goblin or whether this is the only one that brings in goblin. Either way, probably Enchanted Bone would have been the only other good one there. So I'll go with this, so we've got a bit of attraction. Um, again, we could go up to six magic, but I think having the attract is more useful. This is going to be... A very, very expensive building. We're using an extremely potent material for this. If we went with this, though, yeah, it would only be three. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're we're going to splurge on this one. Let's go for this. That is, this is easily going to be one of the bigger constructions that we've ever undertaken here, and as a result, it's going to bring us quite uh, uh, one step closer towards having the advanced victory condition there. Now, as for weapons, let me show you what this beautiful wood can do. Uh, let's just use that for now. Uh, we'll actually use this to have a little bit of a better chance of getting some really nice stuff there. Um, in terms of jewels, 14 damage, 10 poison. Nine shielding. It's very, very potent. But we would lose our life leech, which is very, very sad. Uh, we could, of course, go for more of an enchanted weapon, but honestly, no. No, I think uh, I think for now, we would really want this. And this one would, would give us a, a pretty high-level gem as well. So if we went with that, we'd have stealth, but it becomes a very heavy weapon. The two stealth is not bad, though. And 18 damage as well. Silver, of course, dexterity, 17 damage. Much lighter, though. Very good for one-armed um, combat. Uh, One-handed combatant, sorry. This is much lighter. Yeah, let's, let's make that. Let's make three. Sure, let's get those going. Let's move you up. Move you up. There we are. Get a couple more people involved. Again, because our whole group gets automatic three in crafting, everything gets a little bit easier now as a result. We'll just move people over, get everyone crafting, and then we'll decide where we want to go after that. Now, in terms of jewelry, 
can be an ancient word is particularly nice. Once again, we're going to want this. Ooh. Adrenaline boost, sturdiness, and magic. Wow. Carved with care from ancient forests of Tia, this necklace brings age-old wisdom to your neck. And with this... Wow. Okay. We've got some options here. Folklore. That gives us life leech. This gives us... Um... Poison. Will magic. We're going to have magic no matter what. Dexterity, a lot of life leech. Um, if we use nimble wood, we'd have a 14% chance of getting that. We'd have 14.9. It's just not good enough. Gives us gathering. Let's have a look through our properties. Tactics, not particularly important, that one. Range damage. Nah, not much better there either. Um, that's okay. But remember that these do switch around, so we could have a look at this instead. Sixth sense. Okay. Uh, that's life leech for one particular type of combat, but not much of one. Concentration. Eh, it's alright, but it's still not particularly amazing. Faint is okay. Okay, Sturdiness Distraction. So that's Life Leech in a couple of different fights, but honestly, I'm thinking this would be the better one to go for. It's a very, very potent weapon. Divination. No, it doesn't really help our magic. If I can find something that helps magic, that helps push it just a little bit further, I mean, that one is a very nice necklace, though. So let's get at least two of those for our two medics. Just you up there. There we go. And that, that should do for now. Okay, we're not gathering anything at the moment, which is never a good sign. So I'm just going to move two people off. Well, actually, do we even need to? Uh, yeah, we do. But, I'm going to say that uh, in that regard, where's Kenneth? Kenneth, you can go up there. Uh, in this regard, we'll just get an, someone who can gather enough. So we want seven or more. So Sarah, Russell, let's get some wood in here because we are starting to run a little bit low now. What did we get from the, well, some seafood. That's okay. And uh, this time, we got some exotic fruit. Nice. Okay. A great ancient red dragon and his swarming minions have descended upon your lands. In your minds you hear a roar. I will have your gold. Now. But if you leave me be, I will move on from this place. The dragon sits itself atop a great tower, risen from the ground. And you know you will need all of your people at once to try and defeat it. Okay. Let us fight this beast. We've lost 35 gold. Will you accept the gift of a virgin instead of our gold? Dragons are creatures of... High magic. Try to use a ritual to chase the beast away. Oh, if only, if only we had... Uh, gold is not particularly of worth, but every card in a four group is going to have magic of some description. We've only got a small group of people who have magic, but we're going to try. Seven cards. Okay. Opponent goes first. 10 piercing damage. Very scary. Very, very scary. Um, right. Okay. First up. Let's get you in. Next up. Let's get you in. Uh, I can't get you to get close. That's a bit of a shame. Now, do we have anyone with particularly strong counter offense? We do, but that would be a very potent card I don't want to throw away. I could have you shield an ally. You have got counter offense, but you also do some damage, so I'd rather not throw you aside. Counter offense. Have we got any cards we can get rid of? Oh, thank goodness. Um, you guys can't get closer. But you can shield. In fact, you can shield very well. It's such a shame that you can't get closer. Um, 
Right, I'm going to have Oxherd move in. And I can play Oxherd because he's in my combat deck. And you're going to have a bit of... Uh, you're going to be able to tank a bit. Now, the beautiful thing there is you're stood bet between someone who can actually do damage. Right, get rid of the next offensive card. Goodbye, you. Now, at this point, we've got some interesting choices. First thing I would like to do... Get a chunky shield down on Oxhood. There we are. Okay, you're going to be confused, it's fine. I would also like you to pop a shield down. I would like that card to be played and then we'll work our way through them. Perhaps, I mean... Uh, it's a bit of a rough one there. Um, actually, no. Riv Sung. Let's get this card played. I'm going to split some of the damage a little bit, that's fine. And then we want to start getting people down who are not going to be particularly strong at taking damage. Now, one card has to just do damage to you before it can do anything else. Now, you can do three damage, you can do more. That's an interesting point. Sean can actually do a lot more damage. Manu, you've got a lot of health, so let's get you tanked. Um, Swizzle, you've got a lot of health because of your various stats. You've just got a lot of defensive points there. Let's get these guys in. Now, I could drive one person to the front. Hmm. It's not bad. Actually, there is no valid target for that. What do you mean? Oh, that's a shame. I thought it was telling me that I could. Um, that, that is a shame, because if I had someone at the front who could do three damage, then it would uh, mean that Sarah would do eight damage on the next turn. That is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Uh, right, we're just going to have you guys get closer then. Alright. We should still win this. And who are you going for first? Oxhead, good. Rivsung has still got some life in them, which is fantastic to see. And we'll start working our way through the uh, rear guard of the Hexes. And this is why Hex is such a good challenge. Even though we don't have a lot of damage potential here, we've got a a great deal of supporting skills and a lot of, of survivability in our cards. So even though it's going to be kind of a death by a thousand cuts, it will be death for the enemies. We lost one card there, which is very easy for us to deal with. Now let's get you in and follow that up with someone who can take a bit of a beating because they pro they may have some piercing cards. No, they don't. Okay, let's get you in, followed by you, because your shield. Will give us a bit more uh, life. It ah, that's fine, absolutely fine. All right, next up, another person with a shield, and then we'll just wear through them. There we go. Uh, we will get those who can get closer, closer, and we will have. Hmm. Seems rather strange. Uh, support ally, might as well. But I think that's pretty much going to be it. We've won this against a dragon. Bear that in mind. This is a four skull hex challenge. And we're winning this not with any crazy boons. We haven't got magic on everyone. We're winning this because we had a good... Just just generally for a hex challenge, we had enough people who, who could do hex to do little bits of damage to each card, but a lot of survivability on it. Your ritual works and the dragon bows to you. Apologies. I assumed I am dealing with filthy peasants and not with those who wield magic. Have your gold back and stay on the road of wisdom. He flies away and some of you feel stronger in magic. Wow. Wow. Three magic for 15 turns. The whole party. Well, now is the time for us to go and deal with any crazy giants. That got us two. Oh my goodness. Russell and Bubbles both healthier, Jason more willful, and Sean and I'm nobody permanently more magical. See, dragons are quite dapper, except when they think they're dealing with peasants. Filthy peasants. But that's going to be it for this episode. It has gone on a lot longer than I expected, but I didn't expect to have to fight a bloody dragon. But uh, there we are, doing well, I think. And in the next episode, we're going to have to go and find those, those giants, I'm afraid. We can't let them roam around, because eventually they will come a-knocking at Dabadel's door. 
hopefully you can also take out the giant cave. You never know. But that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.